Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you how to send a posed character from Character Creator 4 to Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so what we have currently, I just have this animation. And if I choose a pose from the animation, I, I probably there. There we go. If I want to send this to the engine and then now export this character, if we jump over to Unreal Engine 5, when it comes in, it's going to be in the A pose or whatever the default pose for the character is. So obviously we don't want that. So what I can do is take you back over to Character Creator 4. And before we go any further inside Unreal Engine 5, when you have your character imported with the pose at the end of this tutorial, if it is the pose is reversed, so, for example, say this stood on one leg and it stood on the right leg, but when you import it, it suddenly stood on the left leg. Then you can change that inside Character Creator 4. I don't know whether it's a bug in one of the softwares. I don't know. But what we can do is go to Edit Pose and you can come down here to Full Body Pose Mirror and it flips the pose. You see that? So if you do have problems with the pose being flipped when you import it into the engine, that is how you would fix it. Anyway, let's move on. And I'm going to export this character posed like this now. So go to export FBX, clothed character. I want to choose Unreal, Mesh and Motion. Click the cog icon. Uncheck Embed Motion. Choose current pose scroll down uncheck first frame in bind pose and then i'm going to not export any lod's i'm going to export and we will call this lana version 4 so i don't get confused and that will now export once it's finished exporting, we'll go over to Unreal Engine 5. I'm using Character Creator uh, Auto Setup 1.24. I already have videos on my channel explaining how to send characters from Character Creator 4 to Unreal Engine 5, so I'm not going to repeat that. I'm going to import our character. Here she is, Lana version 4. Open that up. I'll choose High Quality Shader. And when the FBX dialog pops up, I want to make sure skeleton is set to none because I want it to have its own skeleton. Skeletal mesh. Yep. All of these checked under advanced. If we go to advanced here, like so, all of these need to be checked. I'm not checking um, import mesh LODs because I'm not importing any. Uncheck anim import animations. And... Everything else is at the default, which is great. And then I'm just going to hit import. And with that imported, if we open up the skeletal mesh, there we go. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.